tutorial on how to capture your photographs with someone that wears glasses. And I know sometimes it can be a challenge. Natalia here has beautiful pink uh, frames here for her glasses. She's super styling, super cool. And I really wanted to capture photos of her without the sun glare or light glare, even if you're photographing indoors, we'll have some tips for that as well. Uh, today's session was done outdoors, so um, you'll get a lot of outdoor photography tips. <laughs> uh, we'll be showing you the images together as well. So tip number one, when shooting in direct light, make sure your subject is not facing towards the sun. Um, even if they don't wear glasses, you'll get uh, the, the squinty face. Make a squinty face. It's a squinty face. I like this. Okay, so you'll get the squinty face, the horrible face where your subject can't see and they're squinting their eyes. Um, first of all, you'll get that and you'll also get the glare in their glasses. You'll have this really bright white um, light reflection in their glasses and you won't be able to see their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I moved my hands too much. Uh, you won't be able to see their eyes. There's nothing worse than not being able to see your subject's eyes. So tip number two, uh, when shooting in direct light, when your subject is facing away from the sun, make sure there's no, make sure the background behind you is not light because you will see that reflection in their glasses as well. You want either a shaded background, um, you know, whether you'd be under trees, which is where we are right now or whether there be a, you know, a dark building behind you as well. That would work perfectly. Tip number three, shoot in the, good job, thank you, Tally Bear. <laughs> shoot in the shade. Um, I had done a few portraits in the shade today. Um, number, the first portrait that I'll show is in a spotted shade, and you can still see a few spots on her glasses for the reflection. where the light is leaking through the leaves that really doesn't work out so well so we moved to just a full-on shade under a tree still but it was a lot less spotty or actually it wasn't spotty at all and that worked perfectly there was no glare I opened up my aperture to let in a lot more light if you're using manual mode you'll want to do that and it, that really worked the best my photographs. Also, if you're using flash, I tend not to use flash, especially with, um, I usually don't use it, period, but with, um, just because it gives a lot of contrast in your images that I don't like. Uh, but it also adds a, a, a glare um, when you're using the flash. So try to stay away from it when your subject has glasses. Uh, as well as indoors, the same thing. The lights, whatever your light source is, is your sun. If it's right in front of your subject, you're going to have that bounce off of their glasses and it's going to show in the portraits. Um, so I hope you really enjoyed two days tutorial and all of the photographs provided as well, just kind of as an example of what type of photograph you can get in different types of light. Remember, light is key. Light can either make or break your photograph, especially when your subject has glasses. You really want to show them off. Show off their beautiful frames, their beautiful face, and that's it for today. Tally, go to say bye. Bye. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Welcome.